In the 2008 financial crisis, 8.7 million people lost their jobs in the U.S. alone. That's more than double the population of the state of Oregon lost their jobs just in that one episode. Now, I believe that there's going to be a severe economic crisis that's going to start within the next couple of months. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can protect yourself so you don't end up being one of those people who jumps out of the window of the office building because you lost your job. If you were raised in a middle class environment like I was, then probably you grew up being told that you need to get good grades in school and then go to college and then find a good job at a reliable company so that you can have job security. But if you know anything about history at all, you know that job security doesn't exist. It's a myth. It's right up there with fairies and unicorns. A lot of people think that if you have a job, then it's the company's job to take care of you, but that's not true at all. You are only there to benefit the company, and as soon as you cease to be of benefit to the company, as soon as you are no longer adding to their bottom line, they are no longer going to pay your salary. If you rely on a job to keep you financially safe, you are in for a very rude awakening. So how do you protect yourself? Here's how. You invest in assets that are always going to produce income for you. So what assets are those? Well, there is only one asset that will always produce income for you regardless of the economic situation. It's not a stock, it's not a bond, it's not a 401k plan, it's not a mutual fund, it's not real estate, and it's not a triple leverage credit default swap on subprime mortgages. It's not gold, it's not Bitcoin, and it's not cash stuffed into your mattress. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor and hit the thumbs up and if you want more content like this, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button. And if you think that it would be useful for everybody that you know, which it is, then go ahead and share this video too. You will be saving your friends a lot of pain and suffering and they will be grateful. The single best asset that you can possibly have in case of recession is your own mind. More specifically, your own mind loaded with a proven high income skill that is useful in any economic condition. Now I'm going to tell you what these high income skills are and how to learn them, but first I'm going to show you why having a high income skill is the best protection. Now if you have a job, it's because the company profits from your skills. So if you're a carpenter, for example, you build houses and then the company sells those houses for a profit. So they're happy to pay you as long as the money that they make from your work is more than whatever they're paying you. So they're not really paying for you, they're paying for your skills. The problem is that as soon as the company can't sell any more houses, they can't profit from your work anymore, so they're going to stop paying you. You lose your job and there's nothing that you can do about it. You just have to go live on the street and rethink whether being a drifter and doing everything you were supposed to do was really the right choice in life. But if you have a high income skill, which is also a recession proof skill, then there is always someone who is willing to pay for it. That's because a high income skill is a skill that directly relates to income generation. That means that just by doing your job, whoever you're working for makes money. That means that you're an asset rather than a liability. If you build houses, then you don't make the company any money. The person who sells the houses makes the company money. In fact, if you build the houses, not only do you not make the company money, you actually cost the company money because they have to pay you. So you want to be the person who's selling the houses rather than the person who is building them. Because if you can sell a house, you will always be able to make money. Whereas if you can build a house, well, you only make money if the people that sell the houses can sell the houses. So you want to be the person selling the houses, not the person building them. And even if nobody's buying houses anymore, if the market's completely horrible like it was in 2008, then really it's no problem because if you can sell a house, you can sell anything else. If you were the person driving the income generation and your industry fails in general, then you can drive income generation in another industry. It's the same skill set. No matter how bad an economy is, people will never stop buying stuff. So if you can create income, in the industries where people are buying stuff, you will always make money. If you develop a skill that directly brings in income, then you will never be out of work. 
And you could work for a company, you could work for yourself, you could freelance, whatever you want to do. It's not the job that matters, it's the skill. Now in the next video I record, I'm going to tell you all about a new high income skill that I just learned. In that video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of bad online reviews for companies, which is a super valuable skill that companies will pay a lot for in any economy. I'm learning this stuff myself and I'm pretty excited about it. So if you're not already, go ahead and subscribe and also hit the bell icon beside the subscribe button so that you make sure that you do not miss that video when it comes out. In the meantime, check out this video where I show you five high income skills that you can teach yourself in just two weeks.